Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Well, I found a spot here where the light was actually pretty good. I don't know where I haven't tried this before. I'm back in my bedroom um, right now and I like the light here so I might be doing some more videos from this spot before I get out of here in a week. Anyhow, just wanted to talk about, we're going to, you know what? You might get bored with this channel because nothing's going to be exciting, sexy, super new. I'm going to be really pounding the basics, um, especially in the first part of the year. And uh, some of it may sound kind of repetitive, but hey, that's my process. I mean, there's certain truths out there and there's certain basics out there. And hey, I'm four and a half years into the game and I'll be, you know, uh, mid-year June will be five years and I am still pounding the basics all the time, the basic concepts, the basic information, the basic knowledge. So that's all I can really do on this channel since that's been all this channel has been from the beginning is just me showing you my process. You know, it's not me preaching to you. It's not me ever telling you, hey, this process that you're watching Jack's, Jack do, this is the way, this is the right way, this is the only way. No, quite the contrary. Like I say, I'm just working through this experiment of me, constantly tweaking it, constantly adjusting it. And all I do is share with you what I'm doing and you can take your observations and make of them what you will and use them how you will. So anyhow, let's talk about the transition because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people, you know, this time of the year, right at the first of the year, that are gonna probably have resolved to uh, go raw vegan. Whether you're going fully raw vegan or you just want to, you know, eat more raw, um, the transition uh, principles are going to be somewhat the same. You're, you need to have a plan. I'll say it. How many? Go back through my videos and see how many times I've talked about a plan. So many people out there are just floundering. They're floating around. They have no plan. They're just kind of willy-nilly, just grabbing a piece here. Somebody says something in a forum, they jump one way. Somebody says something, they jump this way. YouTuber makes a video, they jump the other way. Um, you need to make yourself a plan. And you need to have, you need to have a, a realistic process. Um, you know, and I'm not, I, as I always talk about, I'm not talking about you have to be detailed down to the, you know, okay, well, let's see, on week one, I'm going to eat at, you know, and everything be so detailed, but you just have to have an idea of how you're going to be progressing, um, you know, because as you're transitioning, and we can talk about, you know, transitioning, that's a huge, uh, broad subject. I mean, you know, and it depends where you're starting from. Are you transitioning from vegan to raw vegan? Are you doing the big one? Are you going from sad to trying to eat a raw vegan lifestyle? That's the one right there. Um, if, if someone has been vegan already, if someone has been a high carb vegan already, I would say it's a totally different mentality for thinking about transitioning to raw vegan than it is for someone that has been eating the standard American diet or even if they've been eating a cleaner version of it or, you know, but they've been including a lot of animal products and a lot of processed food. So, you know, th this is going to be a very individual thing. That's really important to uh, stress as well. Um, you can't just look at somebody else's transition and, and just latch onto it and copy that because your circumstances are yours. Your body is yours. Um, so you kind of have to figure out you know, your comfort level, how fast you can move in this transition, and be realistic on that and don't be impatient on that. It's more important to do a solid transition than a rapid transition and, fe and fail, um, you know, because we want this to last long term. We don't want it to be like, you don't want it to be like every year and think of how many years, how many, you know, new years have come in, how many resolutions you've made and how many diets are or getting healthy again programs you've gotten on. Um, and you that's because you didn't have a plan and you didn't use, use a proper process. Um, just, you know, once again, parroting myself, just try to keep moving forward. Just try to keep moving forward. When I started this journey and I wasn't even doing raw vegan, I was just, it, it, I just called it my health journey. I was just seeking to kind of try to repair a lot of bad stuff I had done to my body. That's all my goal has ever been, is moving forward. Just moving forward, not moving backwards, always progressing. I've never cared about the speed of it. Even when I had the weight to lose, I didn't care about that. I just knew it would come off. And I put my head down and I did the work and it happened. 
and that and it was because of that now you can take you can take the the mistakes and the wisdom that comes from the mistakes from other people um like a lot of the stuff that i talk about on this channel is troubleshooting it's um stuff that i didn't do like a plan i didn't have a plan I talk about a plan all the time. I didn't have a plan back then. And I was just catch as catch can, you know, luckily. And in the beginning, I kind of got into, I don't have any of these horror stories. Like I went down totally down the wrong road and screwed up my body, but I just wasn't going in the direction that was going to serve me the best. And then I started, um, you know, finding people that did. Probably, you know, if timing had been different and channels had started at a different time, probably if I'd have watched Tanny Ross soon, like early in my process, I probably would have had a plan and I would have probably had a food journal. That's another one I talk about during the transition. The food journal is key. Food journal is key. If you're, you're on, even though I didn't do it, I'll say right now, if you've heard somebody talk about this and you don't have a food journal during your transition, you're, that's just foolish because that's going to be your troubleshooting guide. That's going to be your manual. You're going to be able to go back anytime you have problems. There's not going to be any guesswork to it. And then if you, you know, if you if you're going to ask a lot of questions of people, if you're going to try to, you know, and sometimes argue with people, "Oh, well this doesn't work because of this." You need to at least be honest and you need to have it all written down so you can tell that person, "Well, I'm eating this this and this." So at least they have something to go on. Um, because that is just, I can't even stress how crucial that is to being able to go back and identify your mistakes, identify what you're doing wrong. Um, so like I say, me, um, you, you gotta just grind it out. All this stuff, this stuff is not about excitement. It's not about, you know, um, big things happening. It's about steady things happening all along the way. And if you will do a proper transition, you won't do but one. <laughs> I, I, it just still gets me all the time. These people that know that they've done the process. I'm like, I mean, I don't have the patience for that. They've done the process so many times. They're experts along the way. And I never make comments on this and I'm not judging, but it's just like the people that talk about, oh yeah, day four detox is the worst because they've had day four detox 10, 15, 20 times. The same thing with the transition. They're transition experts and they'll tell you, well, well, when you get to this stage, you'll do this and this. That's because they've tried to transition. They've been transitioning or they've been uh, or stuck in transitioning, which is what another thing I'm going to touch on real quick here. And then we're going to pretty much be done is transition is an active phase of this lifestyle. Too many people are just like parking there. I said that in a video one time, um, they just like park there and are just like, okay, I'm in transition. Everything that everything that everybody says, well, maybe this will work. Well, I'm in transition. It, it's almost like transition is an excuse, but and transition transition isn't active. Transition's got to be proactive. You've got to have that plan, and you've got to be constantly moving forward. You don't want to just be stuck and staying in the same spot and just claiming being in transition. So, anyhow. Just something to think about. Something to think about if you're if you're starting on starting on this lifestyle, or if you've had problems in the past and you're trying to restart again. The transition is everything, and having the and the plan is everything. So anyhow, I'm just gonna go because I just keep repeating myself. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll hit that subscribe button and I'm just gonna mention this a few more videos. Click the little bell next to it and hit the notifications. And I'm not sure when this video is going to come out, but um, I'm hoping this year is going to be a great year for all of us. Love you guys. Peace.